Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your Mac. So right now, the latest update is 10.13.3. So you guys do not need to go to Safari and go right here to download. But if you guys are having some problems, this is the website to go to, all right? Just apple.com and look up for that specific update. However, you shouldn't have to do this from here, okay? So what we want to do is go into our app store. Our app store could be down here, sure. If you guys don't have it down there, just go to your Apple logo on the top left-hand side. And then on your third option, you guys will see the app store. Under your app store, if you guys see updates right up here as your last option, this will load up, okay? So you might not see this right away, okay? And um, you might see iTunes first, okay? You, so that might happen that you guys see oh, only the update for iTunes. Uh, once you update iTunes, this might refresh and then you guys will get this update for your Mac. However, for some of you, you guys might see both updates, iTunes plus this update. Now this update will restart your Mac, all right? I still haven't seen any cases where it doesn't. So for most cases, I think for all cases, it's just gonna restart. And uh, once you click on update, it's gonna tell me that. So see, it tells me download and restart. I could just do that now right now because then it's not gonna, it's just gonna stop me recording, right? If it restarts. However, it's gonna start downloading. If I click on download and restart, it's not gonna do it right away. So you guys don't have to worry about that. But again, if you guys click right now, like I did on not now, it's just gonna download the update. The update is two gigs, so it seems like it's something humongous, right? However, it's actually not that big. Um, the update itself isn't that humongous. It weighs a lot, but again, it's not a huge change that you guys will notice on, on your Mac. Uh, would I recommend this update? Yes, for sure. It's not gonna fix a bunch of issues that we are having right now with High Sierra, but it's gonna fix a few things that are annoying out there. So I am glad that they got down to it and they are fixing those. Anyways, um, that's how you guys update it. It's gonna restart. It shouldn't take more than 30 minutes if you guys have really slow internet. All right, so that's averaging out your internet speed. You are downloading, after all, about two gigs, which could be a lot. Um, for your computers, your computers to install the update and everything, you guys shouldn't have to wait more than 30 minutes again. That's because, and that's assuming that you have an older Mac. Your older Mac and maybe your hard drive is full of stuff. It might take a little bit longer than that, but for most Macs that, you know, maybe you're halfway there on your HD, it's not completely full and um, it's working all right, then it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes really for the entire process. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, or problems, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.